Hello and welcome back again to the second part of this conversation with Hassan from Sudan about the onion storage business in Sudan and also in India. So in case you missed the first part, click on the i button over here or also you can also go to the description box and click on the link over there for the first part. I have left it over there for you and uh, the first part had beautiful drone shots of Sudan, Khartoum city. So don't miss it, go have a look at it and let's dive into the second part without further ado. So I understand that you were the one who called me and you wanted to clear some doubts and you wanted to ask me questions but all this time I was the one who was asking you the questions because just to get an introduction about what you are doing, where you are from and you know yes. how to answer in a way that is more related to you. That's the reason I have been asking you all the questions. Now over to you Hassan, now you can ask me whatever you want, feel free. Now. Go ahead. Okay. okay, thank you, thank you very much. So now my main, my main, my, I have, I have a uh, couple of questions. Uh, I would like to know the climate. How is the climate like in India, so that I could compare with Sudan and know maybe there's a different climate in India. So maybe the same system would not work here in Sudan. So first the of all, I would like to know how is the climate. What you say is almost the same actually. All right. So if you're talking about uh, temperature in Celsius, it's somewhere in the range of 21 and goes up to 40 over a period of time, depending on climatic conditions, weather conditions and all the stuff. So I'm talking about my particular storage place in Nasik, so which is in Northern okay. India actually, okay? So I belong to South India, but I do my business in North India also, and that is where the major storage thing happens in India, all right? Okay. So we are talking about temperature over there, it's in the range of range bound between 21 degrees Celsius to 40 degrees Celsius depending on the month, the weather, conditions, and all that. Okay, okay. So this is... Uh, Are you guys the time in Celsius storage. or Fahrenheit in your country? No, no, Celsius, yes. We do Celsius okay, fine. Well, so yeah. then you can understand better now, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely, yeah. definitely. In, in Sudan, uh, uh, temperatures go up to 45 and 43, 42. That's I understand. 42, African 43 is very normal. In extreme temperatures, I understand, yes. Yeah, okay. So, so do you think this would be a problem? It is definitely going to be a problem. And second thing is actually you said that you're going to expose your onion directly to the sunlight, which is actually not a good idea as far as what I think actually. I mean, see, the more you expose the fresh produce, be it onion or anything for the matter, the sun rays are going to suck away the moisture content away. That will lead to a heavy uh, weight loss, you know. Of just course. imagine, just, just to uh, let you know as to what happens. See, we transport our onion from Nasik so let's say somewhere in Chennai, Tamil Nadu, which is about 1,600 kilometers. In the two or three days of travel alone, the mm. weight loss could be somewhere in the range of 1.5 percentage to 3 percentage Ooh. over a period of just three days. Whoa. In transit alone. Whoa. We are not storing mm. it alone. And moreover, it's covered. Okay, when it's mm. moving in the, uh, the lorries, all right, it's covered with the... Yeah. Uh, tarpaulin or whatever it may be but you know still in this condition itself there is a huge weight loss of three percent actually max of okay. something in this particular range so if you're going to expose your onion directly to the sunlight under the gunny sack i mean like what you said probably you're going to end up losing a lot of uh, weight over there definitely yeah definitely. yeah so that's one thing okay. second thing is so, actually we in india we never try to store onion under the direct sunlight actually it's always under a roof it can be a metal roof it can be a attached roof with the natural palm or you know, coconut leaves done attached roof yeah uh, if it's going to be metal roof definitely we're going to keep a lot of space between the onion and the roof because if we want the air to circulate there is a lot of science behind building a shed also if there is a science behind how much meters the shed has to be from the ground level how much air has to flow and how the air has to move in and out so uh, most of the time i keep telling this in my videos onions best friend is air and the worst yeah. enemy is water so mm. you know so we need to uh, kind of um, uh, keep a uh, ground clearance also not keep onion directly on the floor as much as possible actually you know it depends again I, if your soil is very uh, strong and doesn't absorb a lot of moisture then maybe you can try to put it directly on the soil, but it is advisable to you know, kind of have a ground clearance for the air to go, go and not have direct contact. In the night time, the soil can also be getting a little bit wet because of the moisture content mm -hmm. in the air. And yeah. so we want to keep it that way. Yeah. Okay, okay. So that, that's the reason why you're lifting above ground. Of course, yeah. Uh, yeah. Two reasons. One is this. Second thing is, you know, it we have flash floods 
also in Nasik. Okay. So mm -hmm. uh, that I can share you some videos also. In no time, it will just flash like that and you will get flooded. When it yeah. or rains, you know, the onion will get wet and then that will lead to more damages actually. So once mm -hmm. onion gets wet, it's very difficult to, you know, kind of sell it in prime condition. It goes in second grade or third grade only. Yeah. 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 Okay. I, I, and so uh, in India, how, how using the sheds that you use and the systems that you're using, uh, what is the benefits that you guys are getting? Like how much, what is the loss in, in weight that is happening? Uh, uh, what about the rotting? What's happening with the rotting? See, Hassan, actually there are three ways of storing onions generally in India. The one is you just put it on the ground like a pyramid. I mean, it's just a long uh, row of onions. You just pile it up on the floor. You know, that's for temporary purposes. Okay. okay. But just for a few weeks, few days, it's okay. No problem. But okay. it's not going to help you for long-term storage. No, definitely not. Because there, the weight loss and damages tend to be more. All right. Okay. So the second uh, way of doing it is in a cylindrical shape. You just take a uh, one by one inch mesh and make it as a cylinder. Okay. And then you can store it over there. Uh, four feet, all right, uh, diameter wise, all right, and the height should not exceed more than six feet, all right. So, this is ideal. The third and most commonly used storage method is the chal in the local, local language, is called the chal. And uh, okay. that particular thing is what you must have seen in most of my videos that metal particular structure, okay. Yeah. So, there the dimensions are something like in the extent of four feet inner, okay, with. And the height is obviously okay. six feet again, and the length is maximum. You can go up to 20 feet, one stretch. I mean, you can build feet. even 100 feet long structure, but you need to make sure that there is a gap after each 20 feet. So the gap between one 20 feet uh, a box and the other one should be minimum two feet, actually. So this is the okay. ideal way in which we store the onions, actually. See, this has been scientifically proven to be working well, actually. It's not just like, you know, somebody follows and, okay, we follow and all the stuff. So altering okay. the dimension to a certain extent can lead to more weight loss. Like, for example, I said the inner has to be four feet, right? If yeah. You, some people try to squeeze and they said, okay, why not you go for five feet, actually? Just one feet, what mm. is going to matter? But it does really matter, actually. So when you go, mm. when you go wider and wider the onion in the middle gets a little bit more stuffy and starts to sweat. And then that particular moisture leads to the damages of all the surrounding onions. So as I said in the beginning, you know, air is the best friend. So in this kind of a scenario, if you don't allow enough air to flow, then you have a problem there down the line when you're going to especially store it for five, six months. That's a big problem. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And uh, another thing is to enhance the storage methodology. You know, people sometimes use blower, artificial yes. fan. Yeah, so that some people use in some parts of India, but not everywhere, not especially in Nasik. So basically, we don't go for the cold storage because it's expensive. We don't need to go for the blower because the wind is uh, very good over here in Nasik, actually. So it depends mm -hmm. on your uh, climatic conditions, your local weather and all the stuff, you know, the regional issues that you face mm -hmm. over there. So, mm -hmm. I mean, these are, these are general principles, but I can't say for sure that it will work in all part of the world because you need to look at your humidity your airflow and other yeah. other conditions as well yeah okay so like you said now you said the difference between the uh, every 20 feet that you keep a gap of two feet you said so the box actually i'm going to show this over here the box over here on this particular video also so generally you know what happens is this is the ideal structure two feet gap ground level ground clearance from the floor level and then uh, four feet is the width 20 feet is your length and the height of storage of onion should not exceed six feet. I mean, your structure can be definitely more, but you know, the storage mm -hmm. of onion should not be more than six feet. And also make sure that you have big gates to open up because when you want to clear it, you want to clear it fast and you don't want to waste time over there and, you know, going, making people go inside and get stuck over there to move and pass your onions and that will lead to more damages. So we need to have some big gates also to open up fast on mm -hmm. the sides. Very clear. Yeah, yeah, very clear. Okay, and so uh, like people who are using this the same method, okay, and then let's say they enhance the storage by uh, including blowers, okay, did they find difference in uh, like did they find increase in the in their uh, onions or has it been preserved better? Is there any difference? 
between this the, the same uh, storage uh, you're talking about and the blowers? The difference is basically the type of onion also matters actually. Okay, so when you talk about uh, onion from India, again we have uh, uh, onions from different districts or different uh, states of India. You know, so you cannot uh, store all the onions for long-term storage purposes. So uh, this particular onion found in, uh, especially in Maharashtra, a state called Maharashtra and a state called Madhya Pradesh is more suitable for long-term storage. Whereas onion from another place called Andhra Pradesh or uh, Karnataka is not suitable for long-term storage because of the way it is kept actually, you know, and because of the uh, crop by itself and the weather conditions over there also. So that's why I said, you know, the weather conditions and local uh, parameters play a lot if you want to go for long-term storage. So mm. uh, you can't equate everything in one particular uh, thing, actually, you know. And second thing is this particular nasi onion is more suitable for export because of the simple fact that it can you know, be strong enough and, you know, last long. Mm. Yeah. Okay. 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 So very, very clear. So uh, usually in, in this type of system, if, uh, you can store up to how much, uh, how long, and uh, what will be the losses like? How much is actually is just a matter of your own uh, perception. I mean, it's all about commercials. So you want to sell it faster. I mean, if the price goes up, we will definitely love to sell it faster. So uh, if you're talking about the duration, are you talking about the duration here? How long you can store? Yes, yes. Yeah. yeah. So generally, uh, the same thing works, uh, same like your Sudan. Actually, the particular crop is harvested in the month of March end and uh, April beginning, something like that. And then they start storing it. And most of the time, mm. the farmers themselves keep it. They don't uh, sell it to the market in the beginning stages. Later on, they'll start to sell some little bit, little bit, little bit, depending, depending on various parameters again, because if the farmer is poor, to sell, he cannot keep it for a long time, number one. Number two, he might not be poor, but he doesn't have the wherewithal. That means he doesn't have the infrastructure to store. So he might just have a small infrastructure and he'll just store whatever he can in that and then the rest he will sell. Number three, the sure. mindset. There are farmers who says, no, I need money today. I make my money. I make my profit today and I leave. Okay. So I don't want to speculate. I don't want to go into all this long-term investment game. So again, it depends. So it depends on these particular kind of uh, reasons as to why farmers will store or will not store and how much they store and how much they not store. And uh, talking about duration again, generally, as I said, you know, we start from April goes up to October, November, actually. Mm. Right. Okay. After that, the next crop comes in. Okay. So, okay. so this particular crop will lose a certain amount of value. There are some people who will still love to use the same old crop, especially restaurants. Okay. The reason being that uh, this has already lost weight. So there's nothing much for that to lose weight more and more again. This is one reason. Mm. Second thing is since it's already uh, totally dry, it will not absorb a lot of oil. So their okay. cost, food cost will come down actually. If you use a fresh mm -hmm. onion that comes out in the month of December or something like that, there's a lot of moisture is there. And so it's going to absorb a lot. It's too soft, you know, so it'll absorb a lot of oil also. So food cost is going to okay. go up. Third most important thing is the taste factor. So these old crop might look ugly from outside, but taste really well actually, if kept properly, of mm -hmm. course, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, mm -hmm. that's going to enhance the taste factor also. So that's the reason the restaurant guys will still be using it even until the month of January, even if they parallelly have the red onion, that is the next season crop in the market also. Mm. So that's about the yeah, duration. Yeah. How much you can store is all about, as I told you, it depends upon your infrastructure actually, and your money power okay. and your patience to wait and not to wait. No, no, I'm just talking about the system itself. Like the system, my question is that the system itself can handle up to five, six, seven, eight months of storage without any problem. See, Hassan, actually problems will be there. There are two major problems. The, the one is actually uh, the weight loss, okay? So definitely there's going to be a amount of uh, weight loss. Then there's going to be significant amount of damages also. It, uh, it depends upon your climatic conditions. If there's too much of rain coming in, then again followed by sun and then again rain, something like that, you know? So the change in climate itself will, you know, deteriorate the quality of the onion. So what you need to do is you need to have a periodic checkup actually. The problem here yeah. is when you want to have a periodic checkup, the, there are two issues again. One is cost factor. Other thing is the skin might come out. Okay. So when you handle mm -hmm. onion here, we do it all physically. Okay. The labor force only we use. Uh, that means 
you know we use labor to do everything so each one in goes through hand only so the problem is so here is you know every time you handle the onion the skin might go out if the skin goes finish game over it might lose its value it might last it might not last long so that's the problem so we need to have a balance you can't keep just going on checking in checking out checking checking out and seeing okay what's going on mm. over there you need to keep it for some time and then if the price goes up okay fine if it doesn't go up then you need to revive it you need to shuffle it one time and then take out all the bad ones and put back again so you're going to lose definitely in terms of weight loss and damages it will definitely be there this is a fresh produce so obviously there's no way you can uh, you cannot avoid these kind of losses it, of course be, of course you can only just minimize it thanks a lot for watching the second part until the end and of course there is another third part also to this particular conversation so uh, the third part's link is also in the description below and just in case if you missed the first part to make things easy I've, you can click on the button over here for the first part so see you later take care bye bye